President Evil 2, the, the sequel. I'm gonna keep playing this. You've once again stepped into the world of survival horror. Good luck. But when am I gonna get Cursed Mountain? What are what are the I'm allowed to play good video games? I like Resident Evil 2, but I I might have to look at prices for Cursed Mountain. Ada, Ada wait! I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. Wow, a lady stepped on me. Yes, this is where video games' greatest romance began. I've said this before, but... If, if you are invested in the, 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 deep, the deep lore of, of the Resident Evil series, um... And are like, yes, Leon Ada, this very touching love story between a lady who is constantly playing hard to get and a guy who is dumb enough to keep pursuing her. Um... Maybe, maybe consider consider your life choices. Okay, apparently gotta push you one more pixel. Boop, boop. Like people who genuinely care about Resident Evil lore. And aren't like me, where they know Resident Evil lore because they are bad people and like the series. Um, those people you should run away from. Because Capcom doesn't even care about Resident Evil lore. Thrilling gameplay. Jake Wesker, my favorite. My favorite character. Leon, can you hear me? Ada! Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Here's a key, you dumb shit. Oh, yeah, key. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. 
What? Ada, wait! Oh, Leon. Such a... Such a dumb young man. Poisoned? No. I'm fine. You know, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm licensed to answer that question. Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that display of skill? Speak to the, the, the preferences of fictional characters. Other than I, no one in Resident Evil has ever had sex except Jill Valentine. Jill Valentine is the only character in Resident Evil who has ever fucked. This is my official stance, and I'm sticking with it. I'm gonna take the machine gun, which sucks. Uh, because I wanna, because I'm already doing cutscenes. Uh, is it cannon? It is head cannon. I'll let you decide what that means. Um. Oh, that's right. Yes, Moira Burton exists, so I guess Barry has had had intercourse. I'm just saying, Jill. Jill has absolutely... Uh... She's... She seems like she would be down to clown, right? Alright. It's a picture of a lady. So here's a fun thing about this game. 
Um, well, let me look at the map. That's right. Yes. Oh, the SMG, it's bad. And the part where... The part where you cannot get an S rank, or even an A rank if you use uh, special weapons, is very funny to me. Because I don't think the SMG is worth... Oh, wrong way. Sorry, I'm too busy thinking about this game's ranking system. Brr. Have I ever told you about the requirements to get an S rank in this game? To unlock the, uh... Um... The, the minigun? Because they're pretty intense. You have to beat the game in under uh, two hours. Oh, cool. I just... Uh, like a fool, I did... I did item block myself. thing. I did the item management thing. Because I said, I want to hold this SMG. It's got all these bullets. Like a fool. A child. A babby. develop this film since I'm not going for speed anyway in case we want to see the exciting what exciting things you get for developing the film in the dark room I do really like that they kept the Easter egg in in the remake where if you search Wesker's desk again um after you get the thing from the hidden photo, uh, you you still get that picture of Rebecca. Yeah, yeah, it's the same fake picture of a lady. You know, it's they redid it. Film A. What is that? Code G. Human body experiment. September fifteenth. It is. I mean, it's not the same picture of Rebecca, but it's the same picture of Rebecca.
Yes, the G unit. That's what they call it. Yes, classical musical group G unit. Hey, you know, it's cla if it's over 10 years old, it's classic. That means, yes, that means the G unit and uh, the early works of one um, 50 Cent are in fact classical rap now. In case you were wondering. I also think it's funny to subscribe to the Retronauts definition of retro because then I can be like, hey, remember game from 2020, 2012? That's a classic game now. And then everyone my age is like, oh no, I'm withering into dust. And that's good, actually. Um, that's good. Because I wither into dust. And I need everyone else to as well. how I know that puzzle. It's totally messed up. Um, hello. When am I playing 50 Cent Blow on the Sand? Uh, it's not digitally available. Hello, Russia. Ethan Winters. Um... Spasibo, um, and welcome. gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna expose myself for my my inability to speak Russian but uh yeah I'm just testing out the uh the retro tank I bought a while ago it's 
See all these hot GameCube games that are ports of PlayStation games upscaled to 1080p. Yeah, learn to read Cyrillic, you coward. <laughs> <sighs> I, I can't I I'm sorry. I don't know how to read Cyrillic. Got Ben. The Gavirus. Ben! Can you still hear me? Come on, answer! Damn! I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <coughs> ben. Chief of police, a co conspirator. Whoa, get that scum, make him pay. Hang in there, Ben. Oh, my chest, it's burning. What's wrong? I get it. Sometimes, sometimes you, you know, you eat a little too late. Good God, what was that? You know where are you going Ada to the chemical plant I have a feeling that's where I'll find John Ada, this is, yeah that's wait. what happens when I eat too late I I get the reflux virus do you read me Claire we now have access to the back of the parking lot got it I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer can you meet me there A miserable death. Is there anything else in his cell? No. But yeah, classic here the classic trick of Resident Evil is just run past them. Alright. 
Some really good, just fucked up, like pushing the boundaries of creepy body horror shit that this game does. That I feel is worth recognizing. in the capabilities of the hardware by saying what if this ma mass of polygons turned into a really gross looking mass of polygons what was that all about running off like that was reckless and stupid you're a lady Those i have to protect angry. you not to mention that thing that got bent i was there leon i know look Ada. As an officer, it's my job. To I have to protect you, you cause you're a lady. This alive if we don't work and I'm a cop. Okay. All right. We'll do this your way for now. Did I ever play Parasite Eve? No. Uh, I watched Joku play Parasite Eve, and I said, Boy, I should play Parasite Eve. Um, so, look forward to me eventually playing Parasite Eve. I like that it does the thing where... His head moves. So, yeah, I, I will play Parasite Eve at some point. Maybe not on stream, but... And, but unlike Joku, I will not play uh, The Third Birthday or... Parasite Eve 2, because Parasite Eve 2 seems like a bummer, and the third birthday just seems very bad.
I getting the best rank? to talk to her oh no poor dumb leon I feel like any or all, like, digs at Leon S. Kennedy I could make are already implicit in the remake, where he is a little fresh baby face boy. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong? Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. <gasps> Ada? How did you know? John? Who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I... Oh, no, not John. You will be joining him. Shortly. That's a callback to Resident Evil. The, the first. G virus. G virus. It's capable of creating the ultimate bio weapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is precisely my husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. This way. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. No one will ever take you away from me. People show up. They take them away it away is. from him. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. Doctor, you might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. <gasps> oh no! Are you telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? The G-Virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Should have just left with the G-Virus, you ding-dongs. I'm stopping it! What is this thing? Hurry! 
What is this thing? Fire! And then the rats ate the virus, and that's how everyone got. That's how the zombies happen. So those rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures and create offspring. No. Too bad. We did it. He's old to something. I don't need this right now. I'm such a dumb dumb. Oh. Anyway, here's the fun part is uh in the B scenario you can actually check out uh you can check out the other sewer room. Which is one of those like Hey, this is a fun little... Fun little trick. It, it... The differences between the A scenario and the B scenario are not actually that big. And I feel like people severely overstated that shit. Because it sounds like a lot. And in 1998... I bet it felt like a lot more. Oh, fuck. Right. <sighs> Look at me playing video games. Like a dingle. But on the other hand, I do wish that, uh, for the remake, if they had done more than literally just a handful of items are in different places, uh, Mr. X is there the first time you are in the police station and you have to use a different handgun. Cause, and oh, and they they also make the puzzle some of the puzzles a little harder. I think I will show off just like some of the weird 
handful of continuity between the two scenarios. Like in the uh, in the police station armory, I could have either picked um, I could have either picked the 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 side pack or the SMG, and whichever one you don't pick is the one that the B scenario gets. And then, um, place where you put the wires, uh, to, yeah, certain weird, yeah, some things gonna kind of do an odd, but some major plot points are completely different. Yeah. Whereas this, there is an attempt to have some level of continuity. An attempt is made. Uh, for example, in, in Leon A. Claire B., uh, Sherry never gets infected with the G-Virus. So it's one of those things where, uh, until the remake, the, the canon route, the quote-unquote more canon route, was Claire A. Leon B. Look at this giant polygonal crocodile. Anyway, time to run. I believe you can just shoot it. Come on, come on. Yeah! <laughs> Blow its head off. I don't like that part in the remake. Leon. Uh, this bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Did Dead Space steal that set piece? I mean, Crash Bandicoot is the originator of the runaway from thing set piece. But yeah, That's yeah, I believe I believe Dead Space did don't mention steal it. that exact run away from something and then shoot an explosive out. barrel. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. Yeah. Oh, that part in Dead Space where the tentacle grabs you and you have to shoot it while you're hanging upside down. That. TFW, you're playing Dead Space 2. And you can't stop thinking about how good Dead Space 2 is. Oh, he, he's got... He's itchy tasty. Give me a Crash Bandicoot survival horror game. Actually, that's just trying to go for 
That's just trying to go for the Platinum Trophy in Crash 4. Um, which... Let me tell you. Uh, Crash 4 is hard. I think that game is quite good. How was 40 Winks? Oh, I should play 40 Winks. That seems like the exact level of shit I should play. The Wheel of Dubious Collectathon Platformers. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, who the fuck put 40 Winks on Steam? Um, Pico Interactive. Who kind of suck. But they're also the ones who put Glover on Steam, so you can thank them th for that. So here's a fun thing. There's nothing on these shelves, but, um, let's see, where is it? One is Buck Bumble. You know, that seems like an inevitability, right? It's time to get to the rumble. It's Buck Bumble. But yeah, they also, uh, I believe they also did, like, a limited release of the, very specifically, um, the, the unfinished N64 version of 40 Winks, which, uh, Alright, so you're supposed to light the flare, and that's how you know that the special weapon box key is right there. Which I think is... Most people aren't going to get that. shotgun parts. Why would you light the flare in the first place? That's a great question. Uh, because you clicked on it, and it's like, oh, it's a flare. Um, listen, there, there, there is, there will be a point where, just because of the person I am, uh, I 
I will play some 3D platformers. And it's probably going to be a miserable experience, and I'm looking forward to it. Here's the other secret about Resident Evil 2, is that after a certain point, this this is true for most games in the series, the ones that are actually generous with ammo, uh, you can, you can really just... Never use a handgun again after a certain point. All right, I need. Look at me being a dum dum. You know, I'm gonna say there are definitely easier ways Ada. to build a secret lab infrastructure on, than like ma making your employees go through a sewer and then an abandoned factory and then take a very long elevator. <laughs> These are just my thoughts. Oh no, it's that guy. Oh. Look, he grew a new head. But his old head is still there. That's fucked up and gross.
Don't die on me, Ada. Come on. Wake up. Come on. Shaft to type M. Welcome back. Oh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. I told the game you, a it's bit. my job to look after you. But you'll be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. I... I know I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. <sighs> this lady I just met, she's pretty. Ever think about how this is uh, Hideki Kamiya's? Directorial debut. Metal Gear, or uh, this DMC1, um, then Beautiful Joe, and then Okami. That's like that's a really 
That's a pretty good series of games. Um, I've said this before. If anyone wants to get into playing Resident Evil Outbreak over the internet in the year of our Lord 2022, there are ways. I think that would be very funny. just gonna I'm going to refrain from just laboratory security manual the class one emergency the entire train will be purged disposed for the most round she designated as the emergency escape route Time to turn on the anti-BOW gas. Username guest, password none. the anti-BOW gas does. Oh, I remember. Okay. Well. That's the big plant. Come over here. I have I have present. Say hello to my little friend, yes. Remember when Al Pacino played a Cuban? Yes. I have never seen Scarface.
So, the reason you want the weapon box key is so that you can get the upgraded magnum. I love that you just straight up blow off their entire, the entire top of their torso with the upgraded shotgun. That's what we call video games. Card key. Yeah, that's where you make the G vaccine. But not in this, not in this playthrough. I believe only in uh, Leon B. Do you actually need to make the, the G vaccine? How's RE2 coming? At the at the Umbrella Lab. This is not a very long game. Um, Register yourself as guest. Now guest registration valid for 24 hours. This, this is a weird thing, this specific thing in the lab. But basically you need two fingerprints and two people to register as guests. Uh, and so if you register with both characters, you get to go to the actual lab the disaster took place. I do think the lab part of the remake is actually better than the lab in uh, in the original.
Now you just want to play more Fatal Frame? I mean, there are only three Fatal Frame games left. Unless you want to play the Wii remake of two as part of that. Oh, right. I forgot about this. So, if you light... If you light that... I think it's real weird that somehow Nintendo had some sort of publishing foothold over over the Fatal Frame series or the Project Zero series as, as we call it in uh in Nippon. Just drowning me in cool shotgun ammo. Oh, do I not get the flamethrower in, in Leon A? I guess I don't. I guess you only get the flamethrower in Leon B. That's weird. Or maybe it's in a different room. Yeah, they're... I'm looking forward to um, some real winners. You! You murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the King Virus, didn't you? What? From me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. Spy? What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> but yeah, so Resident Evil 2 is like the maybe the high point of this genre the outside of remake. The G -Virus. Um. That's a lie. No, it's the truth. And it's interesting to see the ways that every other game fails to try and beat this game. Or the first game. But, uh, yeah, the remake is different. Um. What happened? Oh, no!
Annette literally just dies like that. And then I get the Javirus. The self destruct sequence has been um, activated. Repeat. The self destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may But you know, now that Saturn emulation is apparently decent. What if I play Deep Fear for the Saturn? Which was a, once again, a, a Sega developed game. Uh, their attempt to make their own survival horror did not come out in the US. Only came out in Japan and Europe. Because being a Saturn owner was pain, I guess. I've been waiting for you, Leo. Give me the good virus. What are you doing? You know what this is about. So just hand over the G virus. G? I don't believe this. Annette was right. About everything. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen. Now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you. Escape. With this this punk ass twink baby cop. Ada! Ada, no! been through a lot in the last two hours. It's Ada's gun. There are no more rounds in the magazine. What do I actually want out of an RE4 remake? I want them to be weird. I want them to make... I want them to try and apply the principles of modern Resident Evil. So, two, two and three remake, and then seven and eight, to Resident Evil 4. Which is to say, I want it to have puzzles and item management and, like, survival horror shit. Because if I wanted a pure action game, I could just play the original Resident Evil. That, that is my stance. I wonder if they'll show it at E3. Yeah. Yeah, maybe just get rid of the island sequence entirely. Um, Five minutes until detonation. Oh, 
so this is something that I was only reminded of recently, but uh, the voice actress for Ashley um, in Resident Evil 4 is uh, Asuka from the original dub of Evangelion. I had forgotten about that. like a handful of upgraded magnum shots and it's just like I'm a flesh Tiffany Grant. Okay? Yes, I'm fine. That's just... oh. It's all... No. I have to find my brother. She has to find her brother in the this hit video game the Resident Evil Code Veronica. My favorite Resident Evil game. That's the end. I beat the video game. I forget, does it make me watch the credits? Or can I skip the credits? Um, but did I really beat the game until I beat all four scenarios? want to play through Claire B but yeah Resident Evil 2 is really short if you know where to go Test winners. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna check to see how the Resident Evil 1.5 thing is going.
Okay, it sounds like it might be pretty playable. Hmm. B. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. If I didn't use any special weapons... I think I would have gotten... Oh, see, look. I even got the ultimate... I got the rocket launcher. I got the rocket launcher. question do we keep going Resident Evil 2. or do we switch to a different game hunk playthrough I mean if you want to see me try to do hunk it's gonna go poorly because, uh, Fourth Survivor is rough. In the midst of the T-Virus outbreak in Raccoon City, Leon Kennedy succeeded in escaping from the city following his encounter with one of the only other survivors, a woman named Ada, a spy seeking the deadly G-Virus. However, Leon was not the sole survivor of the incident. We don't have a to play through all this. Redfield was in town uh, on business of her own. On stream, at least. She came to uncover if we the don't mysterious want. circumstances of her brother's disappearance. Chris Redfield, a member of the Star's Alpha Team. Only now, her mission has become quite simple. Basic survival. Would be um, but it looks like was once yes, an update was made to the Resident Evil 1.5. Welcome to Raccoon City. They remake four, does that mean they will remake five and six? I bet not. They shouldn't. Guys are maniac. Why do you All right, we've seen this? Um You have to survive this nightmare. To know the true end. Your brain says no, my heart says, but why? They should not. I'm of the opinion that they shouldn't remake 4 uh, either, but since they are... Um, I 
they should get weird with it. A be free review of King Arthur Knight's Tale. What what kind of what kind of game is that? And is it dubious? These are the questions I must ask legally. they done a background upscale mod for RE2? Yes. Yes, they have. There is a version of this and Resident Evil 3 that have uh, I believe they are the GameCube versions that you can put into Dolphin. Okay, sure. Um so you can you can put it into Dolphin and they have upscaled the backgrounds for both Resident Evil 2 and 3. Yes, this is the GameCube version of Resident Evil 2, by the way. running on real hardware. Oh yeah. rocket launcher it's right there uh, but we are gamers and we don't use rocket launchers because we're not punks um Well, that'll do it for Resident Evil 2. Uh, what other games do people want to see? here uh does it have to be we in ps2 games no no i could stream something else uh. but i have this capture set up set up uh we got resident evil 3 we got mario superstar baseball we got resident evil 2 very gladius super mario galaxy 2 metroid other m lost kingdoms and lost kingdoms 2 eternal darkness paper mario mario kart Soul Calibur 2. Oh, Xenosaga. Hmm. Xenosaga ain't happening until uh, we we get um, un until we get uh, some until that happens on the uh... yeah, let's play some Galaxy 2. I'm not gonna play Paper Mario because ZP's just gonna be like, ah, it's bad. Rah.
We should play Xenosaga 2 soon, though. Alright, let me just grab a nunchuck um, for this Wii Remote. And also switch batteries out so that your, but yes, your fan picks comes first. I need to buy some AA batteries. Maybe that's what I'll do, because I need to go out to the pharmacy anyway. So maybe I'll just pick up some batteries. Finally, time to live the exciting life of those people who wouldn't shut up about how good this game looked on Dolphin in 1080p. Circa 10 years ago. Super Mario Galaxy! Motion controls. I do not have the wrist strap on. Fight me. Fight me, Super Mario. Did I ever get all the stars in this one? No. You can't pick Luigi right away. Alas. Dear Mario. Hey Mario, I want some cake. Um, yeah, it's 120 in Galaxy. Alias, though. You can really see the. But look at look at this ten hundred and eighty pixels. The strange little fellow seemed confused. Was he lost? He seemed to take a shine to Mario. Take the Wii Remote to spin, you fool. Okay. Um. Oh, weird. The princess is in the castle. I'm free, but where am I? Welcome, Mario. Look at Bowser. Oh, golly. Everyone panic. It's a monster. God has forsaken us. Why is there so... Uh, you know why. Because she's a tall lady. I'm huge! I 
got sick gains. Maybe I'll have Princess Peach bake me a cake. Wait, I'm pressing A. Video game, I'm pressing A. I'm pressing the A button, video game. Video game. Video game. Pressing the A button. Why have you betrayed me in this hour? Okay. I'm too huge for this beauty planet. Capable for the shit. What if I told you that I had the component cables for the Wii already and then I plugged them into this fun little box? And then I plugged that fun little box into a capture card. And then I plugged that capture card into my computer and also the television. That's why this game looks nice. See, here's the great thing about Galaxy 2 compared to the first one, is that Super Mario Galaxy 2 already knows you played the first one. Fucking nunchuck. Oh, this might be. This might. We might have some problems later. Hello, friend. Please go run back. It's me, Yoshi. Mega Soon. Mega Soon's too busy. Enabling Joku's bad choices. No, I don't. I don't need your help. Play Other M, a game that doesn't require the nunchuck. What a great idea. That might happen at some point. Almost as if Metroid Other M is a game I've been thinking about streaming. But you know me, I love... When people think about me and my taste, they're like, Ah, yes, Brayden, he always loved them Metroids. That's, that's just... They're like, people are just like, why, why, when will he shut up about the Metroids? He's just too busy complaining about the Metroid to Reggie. I'm just always a 
angrily tweeting at Nintendo, where where's the video game that I like as a as a person on the internet? This actually. Trade on if G why Gino should be in Smash. My favorite. Yes. The same people who endlessly were mad about Metroid are the same people who wrote 18,000 word treaties on why a character from obscure video games should be in the Super Smash. <laughs> Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, Yeah, Keep telling yourself it's Super Mario RPG. How come it's not on the Nintendo Switch on? Actually, it is. I think. Everyone's like, yeah. I want this pre-rendered puppet boy with machine gun arms. baby's bottom. Why would you do that to a poor baby? Dun, 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 dun. Why didn't they include this in that Mario in that Mario collection? Because yeah, the the thing about Galaxy One is that Galaxy One. Is like it does the Mario thing. Oh, I guess there is a little bit of motion control shit. But, like, the great thing about this game compared to, uh, that's right, and yes, um, compared to the first one is uh oh jeez they should just do a Rodea the Sky Soldier and just put a teleporter that skips you past any or all motion control sequences that's my favorite. 
Okay, so this was the thing. This was the thing when that game came out was when Rodea the Sky Soldier came out, you got the Wii U and the Wii version. And the Wii version was the one they very explicitly told you to play. Um, and like the Wii U version... Every single part where motion controls happened, there is instead just an awkward teleporter to skip all of that. It also looked worse because for whatever ungodly reason, the Wii U version of that game was a port of the 3DS version and not the Wii version. So in fact, yes, the version... I will not play Rodea the Sky Soldier. This I promise you. Billy Hatcher, maybe. <laughs> no. Any Jeff is Jeff thinks Knights is a good video game. Uh, and by, by Jeff, I mean, of course, Jeff Rude, not Jeff Gerstman, uh, my, my podcast co-host. Um. Uh, but yes, my, my podcast co-host, Jeff Rude, is Sega Pill, as they say. There's nothing we can do to help him. He's, he's long ago. We lost him a long time ago. What's it like being a Saturn person? Nights into dreams is not a video game. People should. Oh, oh, come on! I am not moving this control stick right now. If you're a sat in person, you like 2D Capcom fighting games, 2D SNK games, and shit that didn't come out in the United States. That, that's that's the truth of it. And Magic Knight Rayer, the last game to be released in North America on the Saturn. yourself that the superior oh this fucking nunchuck huh it gonna be like this huh Listen, man, you can play as Maria. So who cares if the transparencies are broken? Because the Saturn couldn't do transparencies. Although, Lionheart, you forgot, you forgot the third. You forgot the third demographic of Saturn fans. Uh, people who are into weirdo shmups and people who think Knights is a good video game. Uh, 
That's right, the PSP version of Symphony of the Night. Hey, yeah, I bet, you know, I'm sure Shining Force is great. You know, the one-third of Shining Force 3 that actually came out in the United States. start talking to me about Growlanzer and Langrisser. And do you want to become that person? Do you want to become the person who's going to bat for Langrisser? That said, I do want to play Sakura Titan. Uh, the name of the PSW one? Yeah, Alundra. Well, yeah, you gotta take a break from Persona 5 because you still have 8,000 hours left. I understand. Hey, you know... Yes, that is true. I believe the person who did the art for those games uh, was, in fact, more known as an H game artist. But here's, here's the dirty secret, is that every anime and manga artist has done H stuff. Everyone. All of them. Wow, a player two can... Listen, I'm not gonna tell anyone what they should or should not have preferences towards. This is a non-judgment zone. Um... Listen, if they, yeah, if you ever, if you ever have, like, 
an Ahagao face uh, for for your avatar, that's where we need to step in and like start asking questions. We need to start saying, "Hey, friend, is everything going okay? Do you do you need do you need help? How's yeah." I love that they're still using the... Same samples for Yoshi. I see Alundra in this chat log. Just play Alundra if you haven't. Maybe, maybe I will play Alundra! He said lying. of a jerk, so... And I have an anime avatar. I have an anime avatar, if you count Falcom Games for the Super Famicom as an anime avatar. I'm, I'm writing I'm writing my Jurassic Park trespasser right up and at one point uh, and and for my intro I decided to put like I, there I think about a lot of things in my life like how uh, my brain has decided that going hey you know I never have finished link to the past have I um, is a far less interesting statement than, hey, what if I played this Jurassic Park game that is mostly memorable because of how drastic a failure it is? Also, yeah, it, listen, man, it's 2022. Everyone's got anime avatars. Fucking kids. Kids love that My Hero. They love that Jujutsu Kaisen. Kids be playing... Kids be watching Jujutsu Kaisen all the time. I think. Source, I don't know. Source... Zombie Pie. I don't know what the youths are into, but I've been told they like anime. It's no longer a thing to be ashamed of. Feedback. I'm here for your to feedback. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Best PC gamepad for retro games. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I just use the DualShock 4 for everything. Um, but I hear really good things about those 8-bit dough controllers. But I mean, if you were if you were a true connoisseur, if you were a, a real, if you were no fuck off. Uh, if you were a real retro enthusiast, you'd uh, get one of those USB uh, converters so that you can play N64 games with a real N64 controller. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I just use the DualShock 4. As opposed to whatever this nightmare person... I, I do not endorse the, the statements or actions of my co-host, Chris Zombie Pyrodacted, uh, and his bizarre agenda of fun. Fun destroying. And then, and then it's great, because then he complains about the keyboard controls in the old console games. And it, it's it's a me sowing me reaping situation. And uh, yeah, the DualShock Three is um. Playing some Tales of Graces F recently. The DualShock 3 is is a less than ideal uh, controller in a lot of ways. Like, it is worse than DualShock 2. Which, you know, until the DualShock 4 was the... Well, until the 360 controller. It's definitely the, the de facto standard. Yeah, I can see this being kind of hard, but, like, yeah, that mushy triggers. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Damn it. I missed, I missed the other... I almost bought one of the, the wired 8-bit dough controllers. So, you know. Yeah, well. Once we get to the Xbox Elite controller, I'm just going to say you should use that for everything because those things are super nice. Hey, kids! Oh, he's gonna throw a spiny. Yeah, the 360 gamepad is good for anything that doesn't require a D-pad. I, I mean, I guess we could talk about it right here. Uh, talk about the high-quality offerings available on PlayStation. Uh, with that premium PS Plus. Just like, hey, all those PS2 games they put on PS4, what if, what if we did that? What if we did literally zero work? 
because we already these games are already playable on a PS5. And then like two first party games on the PS1. Like, hey, you wanna play Ape Escape? And I'm like, I do wanna play Ape Escape. Do I wanna do I want to pay literally twice as much money uh, to play Ape Escape? The answer is no, I don't. Tekken 2, but not Tekken 3. And I just... That's unfortunate. That's a shame. Alright. I need to go to the pharmacy before it closes. So, I'm gonna call it here. Um, this game's still really good. And it looks nice. My purchase is justified. Can't play this on a, a Nintendo Switch. Alright, have a good one. Bye.